Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. So first of all, if you have the game on Xbox app, so for Xbox Game Pass user, you can follow the steps from here. So you can copy this link. I made a separate video if you're unable to launch the game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store. Now you can also follow the rest of the steps wherever applicable. Now the first step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now, so make a right click on the game and then select manage and then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK and then open this Hellblade 2 folder binaries win64 and then make a right click on this exe file select properties and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then launch the game from here so instead of launching the game from steam you can just make a double click over here and try to launch the game from here or from this folder and then check still not working in that case go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working then again go to properties and this time select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game still not working open this second folder binary is win64 and then make a right click and do the same thing so this time put a check select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes still you're not this is not working in that case you can uncheck all these boxes so if if it's not working you can uncheck hit apply click on ok go back and then do the same thing with the second exe file the first exe file uncheck all these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 10 if you have windows 11 you will have an option update in security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage a ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open and again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then open help let through folder binaries win64 and select this exe file and then click on open once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case this is already added again click on allow another app browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select the second exe file click on open now click on add once the game is added over here now you can click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is very important do not skip this go to settings and go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here once everything is installed now restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia 
So go to NVIDIA website and then select the right product type. For me, it's GeForce. Now select the right series. Now in my case, it's a 30 series notebook. So make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And this will be game ready driver. Now click on search. Latest one is 552.44 right now. So click on download and then click on download once again and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, click on OK or yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. After the installation, restart your computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added now click on options select high performance now click on save again go up click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save and then launch the game next step is to verify the game file now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties and go to the installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete now restart your computer you don't have to restart your computer just verify after the verification launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this
Now the next step is to if you have undervolted, you can remove the undervolt. Unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra controller or dongle connected, disconnect it. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any extra, any services, third party services or software running, application running, you can close it. Also disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also, if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running or GeForce Experience running, you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner or any other overclocking application, close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure first of all, you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. You have to install both x86 and x64. So download x86 and x64 file. Click on it and then run this exe file. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. You might see repair option. So if you see repair, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now download the x64 file. Click on it and run this exe file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. So select install. If you see install, if you see repair, click on repair, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once this is complete, you will see a restart option, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update your Windows to the latest version, which we have already done. Now, next step is to update system BIOS. Now, if you have uh, like whichever brand you have. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website and select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then update the system BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, when you update the system BIOS, make sure your battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to, now if you are able to launch the game, if you're not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. But if you are able to launch the game, launch the game and try window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you're able to launch the game, launch the game. Now go to settings and then go to graphics. Now you can try window mode. So if this is set to full screen, in that case, you can switch to window mode and then check. So I've already selected window mode. So you can try window mode and then check. Now, if the resolution is set to 4K, in that case, you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down mode. So in my case, I'm keeping it this. Now, if you have selected like custom upscaler to AMD FSR 2. In that case, if this is set to AMD FSR or NVIDIA DLSS, whichever is selected, in that case, you can select quality. So over here, for upscaler quality mode, you can set it to quality over here. If you are using DLSS, NVIDIA DLSS, in that case, again, set it to quality. And if HDR is on, you can turn it off and then check. Scroll down. Now, for vertical sync, if this is on, you can turn it off and then check. If this is already off, you can turn it on and then check. 
for nvidia reflex you can turn it off let and then check and if the global preset is set to high you can try medium you can even go for low quality and then you can check the performance now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so if nothing is working you can just uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive any external drive in that case you can try to reinstall the game to c drive now if the game is already installed in c drive you can ins try installing to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel